Hey, what's up, family? I hope you guys are doing great out there. Um, big shout out to all, you know to my subscribers and people come to my channel. Um, I want to give a big thank you to all the shills too who keep commenting saying stupid stuff. I ignore those. I don't even respond half the time. And um, but I do want to say you know thanks for all the subscribers out there and uh, people who really have an open mind and people who are doing a lot of thinking for themselves. But this is Yoda, and, um, oh, before we get to Yoda, we're going to talk about two subjects. First, we're going to deal with Sigma Octanus, which is supposedly the south, the south, you know, the star over the south pole, okay? It's supposed to be, it's Polaris down there, okay? Or down there, there's no up or down, but um, supposedly this south star is supposed to never go below the horizon, and I already showed you I already made a video proving that stars don't go below below the horizon. Everyone says, oh, it's atmosphere and blah, 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 blah. No, stars don't set, okay? They're always above the flat Earth, okay? So we'll talk about that later. And the light doesn't travel all the way from one side of the flat Earth to the other side of the flat Earth because light is not infinite, right? You know, we always hear this E equals mc squared. Light is infinite. Well, it's not. Okay, so I'll talk about that later, but let's hear what Yoda has to say. No, no different, only different in your mind. You must unlearn what you have learned. Okay, so we got to unlearn what we learn. We got a lot of BS in our heads, okay, and a lot of stuff that's not true, okay, and the shills just, they, they see that we're waking up and now they're popping out of nowhere, right, trying to keep the disinformation going, but, um... I'm going to talk about, you know, kind of warm you up to Planets Don't Exist Part 2. This That's not what this video is about, but I'm going to warm you up to that, okay? So now here we have, this is on NASA.gov, okay, their government website. Here we look. Um, we're looking at different planets, right? Well, the first five, these are supposedly dwarf planets. And like I said, they thought many of these planets were actually planets. And just up until recently, they say, well, it's a dwarf planet. And the reason they do that, they shrink it down to a dwarf planet, is so that at some point in time, over maybe, I don't know, 100 years or so, they can eventually erase it from your mind. Like half of you people haven't even heard of these other planets besides Pluto. All right? And scientists, let's read here. It says, scientists believe they may be Dozens or even more than 100 dwarf planets awaiting discovery. So now they can just... Now these are planets within our solar system. So there's stuff, planets supposedly floating around in our solar system that they don't even know about. Right? How can you miss... You can see billions of light years in space, but you or millions or whatever, but you can't see the stars in your solar system. That's questionable, right? So, and the reason they do this is because planets don't exist. So it's just to cause more confusion. All right. So, this is one of the so-called dwarf planets, right? And it says, Humea, minor planet designation, right, is a dwarf planet located beyond Neptune's, Neptune's orbit. It was discovered in 2004. <laughs> oh, man. You guys will believe anything, right? All right, so here's uh, this dwarf planet called Eris, right? All of this is in our solar system. Right, because Eris may be larger than Pluto, it was initially described as the tenth planet by NASA in the media reports of its discovery. So now here we go. Now they can see they ju they're just pulling in and pushing out planets as they feel. You know, in, in the next couple of years, Jupiter won't be a planet; it'll be a dwarf planet. And then twenty years later, it'll be like a uh, asteroid. And then twenty years later, it won't even exist. They're mistaking it for like. I don't know, something else, right? So they just, they can just, they, they just j bob and weave and just pull and withdraw planets whenever they feel like it. You guys think it's set. It's been discovered 200 years. You guys don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so let's move forward to it, Sigma Octanus, right? Because we need to get to that. So now we, we look up Sigma Octanus in Google Images, right? Because that's the easiest and fastest way to find it. Well, guess what? You cannot find no real photos of Sigma Octanus. You can't. Okay? Look look at this, right? This isn't a real photo. This isn't this right here isn't even a real photo as a, you know, supposedly. You can tell this is bull. 
Okay? No real photos. No real photos. And you're going to ask me, how do I know it's bull? Because when you do the research, you're going to find out that they can't even capture it on camera. Okay? And I'm going to get to that in a second. This isn't a real star. These are fake. All of this is computer image. Fake. Where, where's Sigma? If Sigma Octanus even exists, it doesn't exist, in my opinion. Okay? It doesn't exist. All right? Now, here we go. This is the Brazilian flag. And they done they put all these stars here, and they done stuck this one star. Now, because you know Brazil's in the southern hemisphere. They done stuck this star on the outside of this, this rim here. Okay? Now, they'll say Sigma Octanus is inside these stars here. But that's nonsense. It, it, this is supposed to be Sigma Octanus. They, they stuck it out because it's not there. That's why. Okay? So we'll move past that. And I know you guys are going to try to debate me on that, but whatever. You guys don't know what you're talking about. All right. So here's a consolation guy. It never sets below the horizon. No stars do, like I said in my other videos. It does not have any star. It does not have any stars brighter than the fourth magnitude. Octanus. Octanes contain the southern pole star Sigma Octanus, which is located about a degree away from the south celestial pole. The star can cannot be used in navigation because it's too faint. Okay? So you can't even see it with the naked eye. You could bear people claim they see it with a telescope, but you can barely see it. Okay? And this is supposedly the guy, Nicholas Luis de Call, who supposedly discovered it, right? And look what he said. He measured the radius of the Earth and came to the conclusion that it's pear-shaped, right? And that was up to much debate, right? So he got in trouble for this, for saying that the Earth was pear-shaped, okay? Which, if anybody knows what a pear looks like, that's not even an oblate spheroid. That's, and the reason they say this is because the Earth is flat, right? So you guys will believe this guy who discovered the South Star, but yet you won't believe this, that it's pear-shaped, right? So they, they debate him on that. So now here's this is supposed to, this is circumpolar you know a circumpolar star supposedly the um, the north star but this is how it's supposed to go around but the problem here is that you can never see it fully go around because the sun would rise by the time this happened nobody's ever seen the stars do this you can't see stars go 360 degrees around so now when we look here and we look at these now look at this nonsense. This is supposed to be a time-lapse video of the stars going around. Some of these stars, these stars here doing a 180-degree turn down by the closer to the poles, the stars at top have a wider circumference. So they will be doing more than 180 degrees, which means the sun and the moon would have rose, the sun and the moon would have rose up again. This is an impossible photo. Total BS. Okay. But anyway, you know. We're talking about South Star, and a lot of people say, well, the South, uh, the, the South Star ro rotates clockwise, the, the North Star rotates counterclockwise, and vice versa. Well, the deal is, if you're standing in the South, you will see the stars going the opposite. Well, if you're facing the South, and you're towards a so-called Southern Hemisphere, it doesn't really exist, where you're talking about the outer edges of the, uh, towards the uh, Antarctica, Let's go there and actually see it, right? So I designed something so we can actually be there, okay? So let's do that really quick. And, um, uh, yeah, but before we go there real quick, look this guy up. Look him up. He's a total con artist, okay? He, he even told you the Earth wasn't a round ball. So those pictures you're seeing is BS. All right, so let's get to it. So now here we have it. Um... You know, let's, let's, oh, actually, let's pull this up here. Let's get this down here. Let's, we can start this up here in a second. Now, what I want you guys to notice is that, uh, come on up. Come on, there you go. All right, so now, if you're standing here where the thumbtack is, right, and you're facing towards the, uh, Actually, let me stop this real quick. You're facing the Antarctica. The stars are going to move in the opposite direction. That's just that's just common sense, right? And let's move this up a little bit. There we go. You're, the stars are going to move in the opposite direction in, if you were facing the North Pole. So if you are facing the center where the North Pole is, 
the stars are going to be moving the opposite direction. You turn around, they're going to be facing the other way. Okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and do this really quick. All right, let me zoom it up. All right, so let's watch this, okay? Because, all right, let's see. Now, you're out in the wilderness, right? Now, you got your telescope, and you're looking at Sigma Octanus, right? So, actually, this is the north, so you're looking at Polaris right there. That's the north, okay? You're looking at it. You can't see it barely, hardly anything, right? In fact, they say you need a laser. If you have a telescope, you need a laser to actually see it. Okay, to point you in the right direction. It's you damn you put it, it doesn't exist. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. All right. So now that's the south, right? And if you see the arrows pointing in the opposite direction, which means that depending on where you're standing and where you're facing will depend on where whether the because there's really no such thing as east or west. Okay, that doesn't exist. Okay, it's it's a way to navigate, but there's no in re, it's it's an artificial construct, is what I'm saying. In reality, there is no east and west. Okay, so if your face, if the if the stars are moving in on the left hand side, okay, and you're facing the north, as soon as you turn back or turn around and you face the south, they're going to be moving in on your right hand side. All right, so again, this whole thing about sigma, you know, the south star. The South Pole star, it doesn't exist. And, you know, until someone shows me a real photo and brings me down there to see it, then I'll believe it. But it doesn't exist, okay? So, I mean, we got stars. We can map out the everything, but we have no star of the South Pole. A South Pole star. We don't have that. So here you're out in the wilderness. You're out in the mountain area. Clear sky, you know. You're, you're enjoying yourself, but, you know, it just depends on where you're looking. So, we just need to get that in our heads. So, I mean, this whole thing, it's like they're reaching for straws now. They're reaching for straws now. And, you know, the shills are out in full force, and they're just, I mean, I I wonder if they're hiring, hiring over there to be a shill. Because they, I mean... When I look at how many shells are in the flat earth, it is ridiculous. That's how I know the earth is flat. Now, see this arrow's pointing one way, right? Now, again, just pay attention to this map. You could pause the video and relook at that map again. Depending on where you're facing, going to depend on where the stars are moving. So, of course, if you're facing one way, the stars are moving clockwise. And if you're facing the other way, they're moving counterclockwise. Okay on a flat earth map. It has nothing to do with the stars rotating around the south pole, the pole star. It, it doesn't exist. Okay? And you couldn't see it rotate around the pole star because, like I said before, 360 degrees, the sun would come back up. And, you know, I wasn't going to do this video, but, you know, somebody, people were posting comments in my, um, in my uh, comic box, so I decided, okay, I'm going to do that. Um, but, you know, I'm too busy trying to write this book, and I'm too busy work with my daily, my da real life outside of this, you know, work. I don't know, you know, I've been invited to so many different forums, and, and I think the forums are great. I think, uh, what, Math Boylan and Eric Dubay and, uh, Immortal Souls and, uh, uh, Sleep With One Eye Open, Caesar, uh, you know, if I missed anybody else, forgive me, but, you know, they're doing great work. We all don't agree on everything, but that's fine. They're doing great work. But for people, like, I don't even know. I think Math Boylan, he might know who I, I was, like, one of the first guys, and this was years ago, when he first started Math Powerland on Facebook, I was, like, the first black guy to join, so-called black guy to join his, uh, the group. So I don't know if he knows who I am. He might vaguely. But, I mean, you know, we 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 know what the deal is. We know the shows are out there. And um I have nothing to, you know, I'm not trying to get in no debate with no shows or anything. You know, my thing is I stand on my own, my own island, and I stick to myself. So I'm just here to do my part as a human being to spread the truth. All right? So I hope you guys have a good one. 
in uh, peace and God bless.